fish, maggots, and fruits. Do they have anything in common? In this episode, yes, they're actually interconnected and they live because of each other. How? Well, let's start with the fish. Here is an aquaculture farm, a place where man is breeding fish approximately 150 kilometers from the capital of Senegal. He's trying to improve the quality and the quantity of fish breeding by applying sustainable techniques. With his methods, the fish are growing faster, bigger, tastier and healthier. In these barrels, he is turning the female fish into male to make them more productive. There is actually not many big secrets here. First, he oxygenates the water by using plants that grow in the water and then transfers the oxygen to the other basins. And he doesn't feed them with antibiotics, but instead flying protein. What? Yeah, he breeds these flies in this room to feed them to the fish. And he breeds them in these buckets. He has so many of those disgusting buckets. But they're super healthy for the fish, they're super productive and uh, cool. And of course, the wastewater from the fish does not go to waste. Instead, it is used in this hydroponic installation to grow fruits. So as you can see, it's a healthy circular system that gives life to each other. Actually, this whole region of St. Saloum has a lot of things to offer in terms of useful initiatives, sustainability and progress. For example, if you have some free time, you can always come here and join the local youngsters in planting the mangrove trees. It's really helpful to the environment and will also give you a lot of fun in discovering the beautiful nature. You can also help the locals in cleaning up the beach. It is very important for the environment and will also set a good example for the others. This region needs it like no one else. Take a look at this stroll. It's a problem, yes, but there is always a solution. And there are always people who care. And you can also stumble upon a very disgusting fish with human lips. Don't kiss it, please. Instead, you can subscribe to the Meridian Expedition to learn more about distant lands, great initiatives and various cultures. See you!